Like speaking with Dr. Graham Kelly this morning from Philemon. Graham, good morning. Hello, Andrew. Good to be back. Yeah, good to catch up with you. A uh, dementia announcement out from you this morning, Graham. Give us a give us a bit of an overview. Okay. Well, when we spoke back in July, I mentioned a, a dementia program uh, that Philemon was working on. Uh, we were quite excited by it at the time, but it still needed some more work before we could go public with it. Well, in that four months, we've made quite a, a lot of progress to the point where we're now confident that we've got a drug with the potential to be a breakthrough in the treatment of dementia. And most people are aware of the problem of dementia. Um, we're all living longer than in previous generations. And and uh, with the baby boomers now entering their 70s and 80s, um, dementia has become a fact of older life. But what many people may not realise is just how much of a problem it's become. Uh, it's now the main cause of death of women, and it's predicted to be the main cause of death of men in, in about another 10 years, surpassing even heart disease and cancer as causes of death. So by any measure, this is a major community health problem, and it's a problem crying out for more effective drugs. So, Graham, what gives you confidence there could be a breakthrough here? Yeah, well, the, the, the term breakthrough isn't something you want to use uh, without good cause. And, and, and simply, we we believe it's a breakthrough because we look uh, look to have achieved something new and important. There's, there's over 100 different forms of dementia, but what they all have in common is that the brain cells start off suffering a, a form of catastrophic damage that interrupts their connection with other brain cells and then eventually goes on to kill the brain cells. Now, up to now, the approach of drug developers has been to, to accept the inevitability of that damage happening and then try and minimise the consequences of the damage, which is very much a case of closing the stable door after the horse has bolted. Uh, so it really isn't that surprising that we haven't come up with any drugs offering any meaningful benefit. Uh, Philemon started uh, with the approach of, of, of trying to shut the stable door uh, as as soon as possible after after a diagnosis. Not at the very start, because people still need to be diagnosed with early stage dementia, but hopefully early enough to prevent or at least minimise any any further ongoing damage. So that that could mean the difference between an outcome of of having minor memory lapses versus not knowing who you are or being able to even recognise close family members. So, Graham, tell us a bit more about Alpha 003. Yeah, well, Alpha 003 has been designed to uh, to protect vital structures in brain cells known as microtubules. So, unfortunately, I need to give you a little bit of science. Uh, microtubules are long, hollow tubes that are, are found in all cells in the body. You've got to think of them a bit like long concrete stormwater pipes that are hollow pipes. These are solid structures that, that give all cells their three-dimensional shape. Uh, and uh, in most body cells, that three-dimensional shape is a round or a square-shaped cell. But brain cells have got a very special shape, which means that these, these microtubules are even more important in brain cells. And that's because brain cells have got these long extensions that allows them to connect with other brain cells. Uh, and, and each brain cell uh, connects with up to about a thousand other brain cells. So you've got to think of the brain as, 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 as a bunch of cells with massive connections, uh, like telephone wires all being connected. And it's, and it's these pipe-like microtubules that maintain the structure of all those extensions that allowed brain cells to talk to each other. Now, in dementia, these, these microtubules fall apart. They actually disintegrate. And, uh, and that, that starts with brain cells being unable to talk to each other, but then it ends up with the brain cells dying. Now, what kicks off this whole process of destructions is anyone's, I guess, although it does appear to be linked to inflammation uh, within the brain. But between whatever's causing it and what's ending up in this destruction of microtubules, there's a middle, a key middle step. And that middle step is the failure of two proteins. Uh, they're called tau and a neurofilament light chain protein. 
These two proteins actually protect microtubules. Their job is to maintain the stability and the structure and the integrity of these microtubules. And it's the failure of both of those proteins to do their job that leads to the microtubules falling apart. So what alpha uh, uh, 003 is designed to do is to keep tau and the neurofilament light chain proteins intact and continuing to protect the microtubules. And to the best of our knowledge, it's the first drug able to work on both proteins, and that's, and that's what we regard as the breakthrough discovery. So what are you planning, Graham, in terms of development for alpha 003? Well, as we have announced today, uh, alpha 003 has, has now moved from the discovery phase of research into the preclinical stage of development. And the aim is to bring this drug into the clinic just as quickly as we can. Uh, we understand both the urgency of the need and, and also the opportunity that alpha 003 possesses. We've got an exciting time ahead of us, and I look forward to keeping you and the market updated as we go along. Yeah, great to see you, Graham. Thanks for your time. Thanks, Andrew.